In this video, we're going to see if we can come up with a way to make these red textures. Now, I told you we didn't want to put the red textures in so much. I mean, this is a lot down here, but I knew it was going to get a lot darker. So, uh, we wanted to just make it act like there wasn't a texture and treat it as if the entire thing was pretty much yellow. And that's all well and good because in this case, I want you to see how the texture of the red kind of sits on top of the petal and that texture is what we need to recreate so in order to recreate that I'm using a specialty brush that I created and I'm gonna bring that up on the screen here so uh, let's see this one here so if you were to take a look at this brush it's it's pretty basic blob brush just a bunch of splatter of dots and what I'm gonna do is have shape dynamics um, a little bit of oscillation in that you see how that's going to help uh, put up a percentage so that it gets smaller and bigger. And a little bit of angle as well so I don't get tire tracks. And then we also put on some transfer. You can take a look at some of these other things like scattering or uh, adjusting the count to make it get a more dense version of it. But I I'm not going to mess with those right now. Here is the final example here. So shape dynamics has 48, 32 on angle, and then transfer has pen pressure assigned to it. Now if I use this brush, I'm going to want to do it on a new layer. So I'm going to make a new layer, call it texture. And this texture layer is where I'm going to start painting. Now I want to get some good red in here and I'm gonna work on that same pedal we've been kinda of playing with all day and when I press down pretty hard I get a pretty dense looking looking picture so I'm gonna do this in those lines and kinda of work it the same you know those lines going up and out up and out over and over anyway kinda of like that now in order to make it not so distinctive in certain areas like right here versus right here I'm going to want to do some sampling as I go to make it smooth out. I might raise my brush size as well to try and make it smooth. I'm going to also use some yellow brush and you'll see that using the color that's like almost already out here that I'm not yet really adding much is going to help get the right color. I'm going to shrink it down, go back, sample some of that good red again take it over here. One of the things also, I'm not concerned about this edge or this edge right now because I have a plan for that. We'll talk about it in a little bit. And definitely want to get some vibrant red coming in here. Kind of branching out. And once again, want to sample it to make it fade into that orangish mode for those regions. So you're kind of just using that over and over again. And every now and then I'm going to do some bigger just to kind of it'll make it look a little blurrier because my brush is really a large brush, so it's going to make it have a fuzziness to it, but there is a fuzziness to it, so I think it's going to work. Um just going to take that up. Now so you can see what I'm doing there. I'm going to get it really dark in some of these regions. So uh, I'm going to also take it down past here because I'm I, once again I've got a plan for that area as well. And I'm ignoring this. I'm just assuming that this would have continued over and ignoring that little shape. And I definitely want to make sure I'm getting some of that vibrant red sticking in. All right, and if I'm not exactly where it is in the in the picture, I'm not too upset because it's it's all about getting the texture close. You know, like I said, you don't draw every hair, you don't draw every speck. Okay, extend that up, and out here I'm going to start getting really big. You see how that works, and some some of that yellow. Now, because I am painting opaque, I mean, 
and yes it is semi-transparent just because I'm not pressing down super hard I do want you to understand that I'm gonna have to do something to make sure that this fades into the smoother version of it also you see that there's dots up here too I'm gonna let me see here I'm gonna zoom out some and so you can see how that's looking so far it's doing pretty good I'm gonna just keep that going I'm gonna get some of this yellow out here and see if I can get some of that texture to come through yeah so let's see how that looks we'll zoom in on that mm, yeah definitely where I want it to be and I'll continue that over here on this side as well once again I'm not worried about this edge I'm just gonna fill this part in and I'll be okay with going over it it's okay And you're going to lose some of the vibrance with this. It's okay that some of that goes away in this case because um, I can always go back and just resaturate my paint where I've painted. Definitely want some extra down here and get some of that darker version of the color. I'm going to go back to the original source, get that so it's much darker. And maybe extend this out a little bit, get some of that orange coming through. Let's see with that orange up here kind of make that a little fuzzier over there so you can see what uh, we're doing that and if I just go ahead and extend this down it's okay to to take my very tiny brush here and extend this down in this area way past where it goes and just kind of trying to see if I can get this little shadow thing here alright okie doke so now that I've got this this set up like so um, I want to extend some of the color up here the little texture up there to the right so I'm gonna take it up like so just sample some of the colors that are already there so I'm not really altering what's there and I'm painting very light with my brush so that I don't become too uh, opaque or too you know too much different than what's already there because I, I really like what was already there alright so now that I got that I told you I had a plan for making the edge work okay and basically what we're gonna do is just erase it we're using a mask so on the texture layer I'm going to add a mask and once I have that mask I'm gonna actually switch back to my normal paintbrush and I'm just gonna clean up that edge by painting it black so I'm gonna make sure we're on black and just kinda come down this edge here and make it go away up oh, too far like so so you go all the way down like that and then right here where I have that let's zoom in on that where I have this little dangling red area I'm just going to erase using my paintbrush I'm just gonna pull that out just like that and a little bit over here too just like that just kind of taking it out of the equation right and over here I need to get the edge of that pedal so I'll get the edge of that pedal like that and so now you can kind of see how that ends up looking now your next bet is to make sure that if there's any extra uh, stuff out here that you don't want you can always just make a very large brush and, and kind of kind of brush away some of that to mask it off a little bit make it diminish alright so let's say my brush looks good but I want to make it a little more vibrant in that area you can always um, kind of preview what you'd want to do with making it vibrant by just adding an adjustment layer now I'm gonna undo this so you don't have to actually 
watch this whole thing I can take a vibrance adjustment layer and I can make it apply just to that one layer so it's got the arrow popping down so I hit the little double circle and it pops down and I can increase my vibrance to make that redder you see how that works so like I've lost some of my vibrance I can extend it back up using that method you see the difference then the other option if I trash that layer is you can just return to the um, make sure you're working on the actual texture itself and you can go in and use your sponge tool and put it in saturate and then check the vibrance button and then if you start working that it's just going to make it more vibrant that easily now I'm gonna step that backward because I'm gonna do it as a whole uh, back with my all my textures once I'm done but that's how you'd make the textures go a little better um, so anyway so I'm gonna do that texture I still have to make a texture for the old uh, dots here so I'm gonna work on that on a new layer in the next video